Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop, and today we're going to pull the motor out of the new Comet mill and make sure all the ver veritable drive stuff is all hunky dory. Let's see about putting it back together and getting it back in there. Because, as I recall, I think I can put that in there and feed the belt through by adjusting this. I've, it's been a while since I've had one apart. I'm doing a little bit of cleanup on it. Exactly, this is just one pass with some brake cleaner and stuff. A couple of spots. That's yeah, come clean, but before I get anywhere too involved in this. Ow, this hit my knee. We will try not to blow you out with glare here. There's two socket head cap screws holding the motor in. We'll take those off and I'll set it there on, our, on a towel. We'll see about, I think all that's missing looking at the parts diagram is there's a 3 8 bolt that threads into the shaft and there's a washer likely that retains that. Everything else seems like it is here. But let me get you set up. Let's double check. So I went and got a plug in for this and the cable. So if all goes according to plan, maybe we'll be able to fire it up today. We'll see. Okay, let me get you set up. Okay, so we have prized the motor from its housing. This is the part that was all angly dangly down there. See the, maybe you can see the spline in there, or the keyway. That goes on there. That locks it in. I found the bolt. Still has the ever important spacer medu. That guy goes down in there, threads in. Of course, it needs the key, which isn't in there right now. So, yeah, that compresses that. So, we have all the parts, and it's not bent or messed up or anything. So, so far, looking good. So, I'm going to go scotch bright this real quick, get it all nice and shiny, and find where I put the key because it was one of those uh, keys that have two different diameters or widths. One fits in here, one fits in that. I'll clean this guy up. Oh, there's a key right there. It's one of these guys. It's in fairly good shape. And when I put this in, again, sorry about the sun. I gotta work when I have, you know, when I can. I'm gonna put the barest hint of grease on there, I think, on this upper part, because that's the part that moves up and down. But actually, it doesn't, the spline does, now that I think about it. This spline part moves up and down. And then I adjusted the veritable speed stuff. So the belt's way over here. So I'm thinking I'll put the motor back on. And I think, I don't know if I can get my big melon back there to see. But if I keep the key in the motor, I think I can get the motor on. I'll have to snake that guy in behind the belt before I put the motor in. And I think I can put it all together from the outside. We'll see, because I don't think if I fully assemble it, that that's, it's pretty tight in there. And as you can see, that doesn't leave you a whole bunch of room to like get onto the belt and pull it back. I may be wrong, but worst case scenario, it only cost me like 15, 20 minutes. So let me get you set back up. Little, little roughy poo there. 
And uh, let's hopefully get this guy back together. Okay, that was a to-do, but it's on there. See, it's turning all that. The, the drawbar's loose. That's as far as I'm gonna get today. Well, as much as I'm gonna film today, I'm going to write the head tonight and try to get it wired up tonight. And then when you mess with these variable speed belts, because this back is spring tensioned, you just wanna bump it a time or two to pull the belt into and get that spring so i have the spring nut back there set a little loose i'm just going to bump it a couple times cinch it down bump it a couple times cinch it down so yeah very cool this is turning which is in turn turning the spindle so I just dropped my microphone. Hold on. There we go. Very positive, very positive day. So, I'm going to go start up the barbecue, get my dinner going, tinker on this guy the rest of the night, and hopefully tomorrow we will flip the switch. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.